Okay, that wasn't too bad with the loop. I like that a lot. But I'm going to show you a little something here about a little drum looping here. Just a real quick lesson on drum looping. Now, here I've got this drum pattern. And we've heard it before already. And I may want to just cut it down to the size I want to use it. So, I can move the cursor right here. And you see it turns into a trimmer right there, right? I can bring my trimmer up. So, you can bring it right up here to where I think I'm going to go my loop to. So, I'm just going to do a little experiment here and try to see if I can find where my loop would start or end. Right now, I'm seeing going to the end of the loop, so somewhere right around there. And then the beginning is going to come in some more. There's a little bit more in the front. Okay, that's good. So I want to view it a little tighter than this, so I want to just stretch it out, squeeze it a little. There you go. Squeeze it a little bit more and move this over some. And just want to get a little better view of it so I can see it as one whole piece. There we go. Now you see, of course, in the top here, where the green line is at, my loop still remains to be the same loop size as it was originally. So what I'm going to do now is going to sit up here and press the equal key. There we go. And now I got the right size. Now I press play. It's got two double hits in the back. See that? I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go in here. So I move my cursor here. It turns into this trim. I press down, and you don't get these numbers at the bottom now, man. So I'm gonna get this a little bit more, and press play. I'm just not doing that because I did not adjust the loop. So I gotta press equal again, and now this green part now is adjusting to the size of the loop. So remember that the loop is selected. I need to also press the equal key in order for it to say, okay, this is the size equal to what I want to use. So. There's a little noise there somewhere at the end, so I'm going to look at this a little closer. So now I want to get really fine tuned in the hearing. And there, we'll see it right here. See right there, I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go right back in here. Just a little closer, a little side too, a little bit more. Now play. Okay, good. So now I want to get back here to the end again. And I want to come in a little bit more. So right about there. My equal key again because we're missing a little something there. I like that, it's not bad, it's a nice size. Now, this is how I can edit right in the track window. So, I'm editing this sample. I got rid of these ends that I want, the beginning, the front. I got just the section I want to possibly loop. And once you get that, and we'll go to here. I'm going to right click this. I'm going to go to repeat regions. Well, sounds a good idea to me. And now I get a new box here. See? Number of copies. How do I want to do? I can maybe do, let's see, let's just first demonstration. We'll do just two more. Auto, yep. Copies, yes. No aliases or clones. All right? So we'll press OK. And look at that. They're right there. Now, I'm going to pull it out a little bit more so you can see them more. One, there it is right there, all three of them. Now I'll select all of them, hold down the shift key, click on other two, I'll press the equal key, and now I'll press play. So I just chopped it up, got the section I liked, Hey, that's it right there. And we just made it into the right section. I can chop it up. Actually, we just trimmed the edges in. So we did non-destructive editing. This means the original sample still remains there. It's still going to be right there in front of us. But what we did here was just cut the edges in. It's not cut them, but just trimmed them in. And I made a copy of it. And this is how we can loop without even using the editor right now.
That's a fast way to loop something in a track.